Hello, in this video we're going to look at Bertrand competition in the case where firms have differentiated products and positive marginal cost. So here's Firm 1's demand for its product. Firm 1's demand is a function of its price and it is also a function of the rival's price. Firm 2's demand for its product is a function of its price and subscript 1, the rival's price. We're going to assume that neither firm has fixed cost, so average cost equals marginal cost, and we're going to assume that if each firm has a marginal cost of production that is constant at $2, so MC equals 2 or MC equals AC equals 2. So let's start with firm 1. Firm 1's profit, pi 1, can be expressed as basically the profit per unit, or price minus marginal cost, multiplied by the number of units. So let's make some substitutions. Marginal cost is 2. Q subscript 1 is given by this equation up here, firm 1's demand, so I'm going to plug that in here. Uh, the next step will just be simplifying it. So P subscript 1 times 60, P subscript 1 multiplied by minus 4 P subscript 1, we get minus 4 P subscript 1 squared, p subscript 1 times 2 p subscript 2 gives us this term, minus 2 times 60, minus 2 times a negative 4 p subscript 1, and so on. So just simplifying this. I'm going to do one more simplification yet. I'm going to add this 8 p subscript 1 to the 60 p subscript 1. And we have that. And then the all-important step of taking a derivative. We're going to take the partial derivative of the profit function, firm 1's profit function, with respect to its price, P subscript 1. <coughs> and so we get this result. Uh, since we're interested in maximizing profits, we're going to set the derivative equal to 0. So 68 P subscript 1 becomes 68. Uh, the derivative or partial derivative of minus 4p subscript 1 squared. Just bring down the 2 in front, and we get this. Um, and then what else do we got? Oh, yeah, the 2 times p subscript 1 times p subscript 2. The partial derivative of this with respect to p subscript, p subscript 1 just leaves us this 2p subscript 2 term down here. So going to the next slide... Again, the, the partial derivative of the production of the profit function with respect to P subscript 1, setting it equal to 0. Now we're going to solve for P subscript 1, moving ad adding 8 P subscript 1 to both sides, and dividing everything through by 8. We have this result, and this is firm 1's reaction function. Okay, firm 1's reaction function. The optimal price or the profit maximizing price of firm 1 will depend on firm 2's price. We're going to do essentially the same thing for firm 2. Recalling firm 2's demand equation and marginal cost, we'll set up firm 2's profit function. Profit per unit times the number of units. So making those substitutions, we're going to simplify by... Uh, multiplying P subscript 2 through what's in parentheses over here, and then multiplying through this minus 2. So doing that and being mindful of the signs, we get this result. Uh, I'm going to collect these P subscript 2, P subscript 2 terms. So in the next step, all I'm doing is taking this AP subscript 2 and adding it to this 64 P subscript 2 to get this result. Now we're ready for a der uh, derivative. We'll take the partial derivative of firm 2's profit function with respect to its choice variable, the price of its product, P subscript 2. And that will give us this result down here. Um, like with firm 1, we set the derivative equal to 0, and now we're going to solve for P subscript 2. So doing that over here, rewriting the partial derivative result, and solving for P subscript 2, adding 8 P subscript 2 to both sides, we get this result. Dividing through by 8 leaves us with firm 2's reaction function. 
We're almost done. Once again, rewriting firm one and firm two's reaction function. To solve this, we've got two equations and two unknowns. Let's go ahead and plug firm two's reaction function into firm one's reaction function. So here's firm one's reaction function. And where there is a P subscript two, I'm plugging in, in parentheses here, firm two's reaction function. Now it's just a matter of solving for P subscript one. So multiplying everything that's in parentheses here by 0.25, we get this result. I'm going to subtract 0.047 P subscript P subscript 1 from both sides, so 1 P subscript 1 minus 0.47 P subscript 1 leaves us with this, 0.953 P subscript 1. Dividing through by this 0.953 gives us firm 1's optimal price of $11.28. To get firm 2's optimal price, plug $11.28 into firm 2's reaction function. Doing that down here, firm 2's optimal price will be $11.12. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.